Amendment welcome to the Gerald R. Daniel Recital Hall. We ask that you please silence all cellular phones and electronic devices and refrain from using flash photography. Thank you and enjoy the show.
someone has been working on this. Um, okay. All right. That's good. Um, I have a couple of questions for you. Yes. Um, what are you trying to say musically? Um, I'm trying to focus more on longer phrases. Okay. Um, emphasis on the word trying. <laughs> okay. Right now. And um, just trying to show harmonic, uh, sorry, dynamic contrast wherever I can. Okay. I'm trying to maintain control of the sound. Okay. What do you think the character of the phrase is? Um, what are some aspects of the phrase you see? A very straightforward matter of fact, like it, it gets to the point very quickly and um, somewhat, I, I don't want to say heroic, but uh, triumphant. Okay. Yeah, triumphant and in that way. Yeah. Is there a particular part that you think is that represents the triumphant? That you um, like the ending, uh, this, this like rapid descent and the final four chords that lead to the exposition. Okay, so what happens to the rest of it that leads it up to? Um, well, I mean, there's also the section. Okay. So like that's also character, uh, characteristic of, of that. Okay, so, so this is one of the questions I, I like to ask my students, mm -hmm. um, which I'm pretty sure they don't like it. <laughs> uh, and the reason I'm asking um, is, if you were to, I mean, if this, some of the actresses that comes up when I look like this, right, there's this sort of that, that ominous, dangerous, darker uh, character, mm. sort of like this little wave, right? Like, um, I, I know sometimes I kind of come up with like a, a, a visual that helps me, because uh, we all watch movies, we watch TV shows, and all has, most of, well, most American films have soundtracks, and especially now in the, the month of Halloween. Next weekend. So yeah. this is all these like horror movies. So when you think about it, and think about this, you know, the, a, a particular older movie like The Fog, right? These, these, uh, the, the fog that's coming in, or, or the, the, you know, it, there's that sort of that ominous, dangerous underlying um, uh, character that's kinda, that I would like to see more of. Um, you know, and a lot of those things, right? And it will also create a lot of excitement. Um, and I have a. Probably, I'm, I'm sure I have a bad addition because that's just something I am as LP. But even just looking at your music here, right? You have you have a lot of very huge contrasting dynamics, um, and I would like to see you're doing some of that already. But I would like to see more of that. Uh, be more committed to it. I think that's going to create a lot of um, excitement to things. Um, generally, when you have these, I call those hairpins. Kind of look like them. Um, in measure two, right, you have these. Yeah. Those are the things that, that, that sort of represents that sort of danger, the wave, the ocean wave coming. So can you try that? For instance, on opening, you have, you have the, right? It, it's, it's not a happy opening. Right. And, then you, and then it goes down to piano right away. So let's, let's see some of that, that excitement. Are you trying to portray more on the aggressive or aggressive more on the control? Like, okay. Yeah, like I'm here. Like <laughs> it's like an it's a very uh, sudden entrance, almost like an aggressive entrance. Okay, so so of those notes, you have accents here. You have the accents there. Musically, where do you think it, it feels like you're, you're you're sort of being polite or you're a to really commit to it. You're being too nice. <laughs> yeah, so if that's, that's one um, little idea, right? And so, so right now the two quarters feel like it wasn't, as, as it, it says in the music, it, 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 it seems very controlled and very uh, level-headed. 
Okay, so instead of sort of some, something like that, right? You want to feel like it goes all the way to the end of that idea. You, you see kind of where I'm going with that? That's what, again, that creates that excitement, right? Because you want that rest to feel more sudden than expected. Okay? Uh, so let's try one more time. I want to have you go. Right, right. So all, all of these, we have. You can, you can do a little bit. Obviously, there's that accent. It doesn't have to be clean. Um, it, uh, are you trying to. It, it almost sounds as if you're trying to focus more on the triplet. Instead of. Right, I'll, I'll maybe bring that top note out just a little bit. Right, okay. Right from there. Um, and, then, and then before you have, I would again, that's still forte because the piano doesn't come until, uh, and then that's piano. So, right, so circle on only one more time, make sure that forte continues all the way until you see the piece. sudden changes in dynamics, imagine you are gasping for air. You, you, you're, you're too, uh, do you get scared easily? Uh, like, like jump scared? Like yeah. Scared? Not too easily, no. Okay, so you, 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 do, you do look like you don't get scared very easily. So maybe you don't know what that feels like. I talk to people who get jumpy very quickly. You know, it's sort of like you just, I need to see more of oh, that kind of feeling. So, so even, I, I think sometimes it also helps when you physically do some of those things, right? So when you go that between the forte to the piano, that, that, that little tiny bit of space there, um, take a very sharp breath. Because musically, how, how long how long would you sort of say where you would um, musically organize it? The phrases. Yeah. Mm. Let's see some. Are, are these are not the slow ones, are they? Uh, I'm not sure what that was for. Like it maybe it was just okay. a practical, but okay. Um, bigger picture. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing how those phrases continue on, like on smaller ways, but then the larger. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that now. Think, think, think about that because one, one thing, and this this piece sort of really fits the bill. Um, Rock might like to write things with more notes than we generally would like, at least <laughs> for me personally. Um, not every single one of those notes needs to come out equally, right? There's a hierarchy of, of what's more important, right. um, because you know it, otherwise it's going to sound more like a study than a prelude. If you're just focusing on the little things and not thinking about the bigger musical ideas, um, and that's kind of what I would like to uh, challenge you to start looking at um, sort of what the bigger picture is. Where where are things going? Okay. Uh, one more time, we're gonna have you keep going after. <laughs> as much as possible. Before. I know it's, again, a lot of times you have to 
uh, overlook the technical difficulty mm. and think about what the music needs instead of what do I physically need. Mm. I know that's not fair. Right. It certainly isn't fun. Um, you know, but, but for example, right, uh, when you have the second time we have B, and then you have each of those, think about it almost still as if you're thinking about the spectacular. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of the bum, 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 each of them moving forward. Right? Can you just try those? I think more of the. I'm not saying don't play the rest or right. don't you know don't you know play them clearly, but it just right now it, it sounded more a little bit uh, too labored. ideas, think about um, destination throughout the prelude. Like where are things going? Right? It, it, it's, it's, not going it's not going from one measure to the next. It's, it's a little bit longer than that. Right? So, so like in the, right in the opening, I was talking about like this is sort of the first peak. Right? And then you have that second peak. So, so again, think about the okay, that's one. Here's your second destination. And then the third, right, and all of these, right, when you have these, what are those notes are? Yeah. That each of those is building up because none of this is really the, what I would call the destination. Right, it will probably be where? Yeah. Oh, okay. one. And then does that go somewhere? Does that go there? Right, because, because a lot of times, right, there, there's a lot of the patterns that are the same, and then the harmony changes, but it's not completely different. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. like this, for example, right, it's yeah. the same. Right. And so, so that, musically, those are not meant to be played exactly the same. You're not just walking around in circles. Those are meant to be taking you to the next, what I like to call them ideas, or the next destination. Right, so so can you maybe go from starting from uh next and then Two boards play that you have another fortissimo. You see that? Right. But musically, um, th those two measures fortissimo is leading to the next one. So you just change that yeah, so theoretically, you can't really, you can't really get louder. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is you can, once you land it here, um, you can slightly, um, I have to be careful with my wording here so you don't actually do a subito piano, but you can relax a little bit with the dynamic. And then you can sort of restart a second, like a, like a, um, I'm lost of whatever the, the second, like a second win. Yeah, I see. Right, so once you get here, does that make sense? That, that will sort of help you, again, propel one idea to the next. Let's, let's try from this again.
Sugar and Mulatto. And that should just the whole be, be uh, like a, like a, yeah, like a wind coming or like a, a wave coming. Uh, somewhere, yeah, somewhere. That's that's good there. Somewhere going into that. You might have to go back a little bit further. should play that, right. uh, but that shouldn't be your sole focus, and, and, then, and then you're sort of, um, you know, not, not thinking about, again, what, what, the, what is the music? What's the longer idea? Uh, it, it, should be, it should be more gestures. I, I think overall, this, this prelude, you want to think more gesture. Mm -hmm. What's the gesture? That, that will make things a little bit more exciting, it will make things a little bit more cohesive. Um, and again, you're, you're, obviously when you're practicing, we practice the little details. Right, but when you're performing, you, you try as much as you can to focus on the, the musical ideas and not let the, the technical difficulties or the details sort of bog us down from expressing what the music means. But not from the technical difficulties. And right. yeah, and that's another thing. That's, that's another challenging part of it, right? Even if something is written as supposed to be difficult, it's our job to not make it look difficult. Okay, and, and that's especially difficult for Rachmaninoff just because for, well, at least I, I always find it very challenging because it's, it's hard to not make it look hard <laughs> when it obviously is. Yeah. Um, but um, let's, let's do this one more time. When you have these, this big hole, uh, try to think about not playing everything or try not thinking about the details. Think about where, where your music is going. because this piece is, is, is very chromatic as well um, when we're using a lot of pedal. So maybe a, a slightly drier in the marcato section. Right, your, your, your marcato sounds very polite. That's, that's, yeah, but that's, again, that's a little bit less, that's a little bit less polite. Okay. Sometimes you have to um, not be too nice. Right. Again, it's what the music is. Okay. Okay? But you, you're, doing, you're doing some of the things already. I just, I would like you to just get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, well, excellent job. Thank you so much. No, thank you.
you've been working on this? I started it in summer, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, they're, they're, you're doing a lot of great things, and I'm going to just throw some ideas at you, um, and you can kind of see for yourself if you like those or not. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are technical, and some of them are um, actually before I forget. Um, can you say this for me one more time? Just. I'm sure it was a one-time thing, so. No, no, uh, um, all right. And then just get these out of because we'll definitely forget about these. Make sure you count enough of them. Mm -hmm. it, it can get a little confusing how many there are. Um, it, it sounded as if you're maybe missing like one group. Because okay. it, it, started, it started halfway, right? And then one, two, Because, uh, because it started off, so it's, it's easy to get that yeah. uh, mixed up. Um, can you play from here one more time? What's the highest note on your left scale? Left scale. Should be in the A flat. Yeah, right. Seven, eight, eight. Oh, yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Again, uh, I just double check on those, and then I think I think those are just the. Uh, I remember. Yeah. I, one of the few things that there's a lot of notes in JVC. <laughs> um, okay, so um, overall, I like some of the, uh, the, the, the effect that you are creating. Um, some of them I would like to see you do more of it. And other times I like to, um, kind of very similar to what we talked about in Rock Run and all, um, and especially in, in French music, it needs to be less uh, sectional divide. Right, you're still very clear, okay, here's the, and granted that there's a lot of that in here, but again, you, you don't want to have a, a, such a divide in a way that just makes it very disjunct. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like you know, that word for it. Uh, but that's not pretty open. So, um, I'm, I see you're doing that, and I like that. Um, just to throw a different, when we talk about throwing out different ideas, mm -hmm. um, you could also consider. I did the last group with the left pian. Yeah. Just the last group. Just again, something, something to try it out. Um, something also to try it out is if you have a very thin layer, uh, and this will just kind of make this uh, uh, that effect of you know, a lot of people talking from afar. Instead of, I, I do, I, I, I have heard a couple of recordings that are pretty cool that, that are just very dry, but just again, just throwing that out for you to try it out and see if that's something you wanted to explore. Yeah. Okay? Um, when you get, let's actually get to uh, where you are growing this. this. This is one of those places where you, you kind of wanted to go from here 
Oh, that is all the way to here, right? You, you kind of you, you're sort of just dissecting it a little bit when you get rolled about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you try from that? crossing the bar line instead of and then you sort of get softer right and that would also be a place where when you're switching registers just a little bit of help from the pedal is going to help make this transition transition a little bit less um whatever the word is right so then that becomes one idea. Can you try that from there? Okay. Don't rush at the end. You don't you don't have to speed up right by two, three, four. Three, four. Yeah. Something like that. Okay? Keep going. So, so this is also a couple of things where it can make it a little, just a little more exciting when you go. Just yeah. create a, a tiny, tiny bit of sort of like a, a direction. Yeah. And then again, when you switch registers, I think it, it would help a little bit. Just, just a little tap of the pedal. Like that. Yeah, because right now it just feels like there's a little uh, hiccup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, but yeah, I think that will help with it. That's sort of uh, describing this, like a, just a spinning kind of fireworks a little better. Okay, um, and then keep going to the, the last group, two groups and going forward. Try from there. complete the pattern. Okay. Okay? Uh, keep going. Yeah, so you want this to sound as sudden as possible. Again, more unexpected. You, you don't want the audience to think, okay, well, that's, of course there's a rest there. Yeah. Yeah, you want the audience to feel like, wait, did, did we just miss a note there? Right, so, so, um, Just go, go from here, and then shape, shape, shape. yeah. So all these, right? It's like horn calls. So it's it's one. Um, you want to physically treat it as one again, yeah, one gesture instead of two. It's yeah. I wouldn't slur it as much because it, it loses that clarity between. You know, almost sound like you're playing together. So. So without the pedal, I'm actually not playing them as legato. And then with the pedal down, yeah. And then three waves coming down.
So six individual. One. Yeah. too much yeah. on the, the notes, okay? Um, this, you can really think about... Think about, again, just uh, more of a, I guess, lyrical, or, you know, lack of a better way to describe that. Yeah. Okay? Uh, do that one more time. Also to explore, um, you want this note to come out because that's the peak. You can potentially have the left hand playing that F. Right, so. Obviously, the challenge of that is that you will get the higher, uh, the louder F, but then it's the coordination coming back on time. But so so you just you know you sometimes you get something sometimes you don't you, you don't get something back in yeah you will wait that out um, but keep going from the top four ways coming down People will hear it when you, you, know, you do the, the pedal uh, appropriately. People will be able to hear that. Um, when you have B, I, I, would, I would be a little bit more animated in those. So it's almost kind of a little spark. It's like you're seeing sparks on top of you know, this cloud of smoke. That was the sort of the aftermath of the firework that's been fired yeah. off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, so start from there. Do you want to intentionally speed up? And if you so, where and how are you thinking of doing that? Probably more than intentional. I mean, you, you can a little bit to create a little bit of excitement. I'm not against it. You just have to kind of be less. Um, I am a loss of words today. You have to think them through. Yeah. Okay. You can just because uh, if, if if you want, you can start from where it says sparzando. It could be a little bit more exciting. That that could that could be an interesting take on it. Um, let's keep going from. I should just go from here. So. Accelerating, you want to retain the 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 rhythmic uh, the rhythm that's written. So start from there. Yeah, so I think it's moving shape a little bit there. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum ba dum bum bum bum. Yeah, I think your your left hand is trying to rush the right hand, and the right hand thinking the left. You know, it's sort of like one hand thinks the other hand is faster. Yeah. So they're chasing each other a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so it's just ba da dum ba da dum dum ba dum dum. Okay. Try that again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep going. And then
this is again, yeah. it's more again the rhythm here. You're, you're being a little bit uh, too free there. Yeah. Or like you're, you're trying to maybe anticipate and slow down a little bit too soon. Okay. Um, keep going. to the low and then low to the high. Yeah. So, so think about that two coming down and then two is going up. Um, and then we talk about that. Again, a, a lot of these, you see these long legato lines, you want to really uh, do more of that instead of just thinking about the individual notes. Yeah. Especially in French music, it's, it's not about the individual notes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do just the very end here. Shades of color. That's that's what I like best about French music. I agree. Okay. Any questions? Not at the moment. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah.
um, we don't have a, a lot of time to go in detail, but there, there are two things I do want to talk about is the contrast of the um, the two different the, the two different characters. Um, I, I think overall um, you could use a little bit more sarcasm in some places, um, and, and that's that's you know the the grotesqueness in the, the harmony and the sarcastic quality. Good job, by the way. Okay. Difficult second piano part there. Um, it, it, there are times when it feels like you, you are, um, it could be a little bit more edgy. I think you, you, seems to, everything seems to sound a little bit too, um, again, kind of too polite in, in some cases. The minute you come in, um, especially the singing orchestra, you want it to be as precisely in rhythm as possible. It, it feels like it takes a little while for you to sort of settle in. Um, and I know, again, if, if you're doing the entire concerto, by then you will be settled in, hopefully, after the first and the second movement. Um, another thing to keep in mind, um, and, and this is something you might have already talked about with, with your teacher or, or um, eventually with the orchestra. When, when you're doing concerto, you want to think about the dynamic just maybe a level higher than what's written because you have, you're battling with, well, I don't know, 80, 90 people there. It's a little bit different than solo recital. Solo recital, you can really explore some of the, the really soft things because you're by yourself. In a concerto setting, you, you kind of, a lot of times, especially if the orchestra is happening, whatever dynamic you have, you, you may want to uh, raise it up a little bit um, just based on the observation that, that there are certain places when I was starting to lose you a little bit with just the second piano, okay? Um, the top notes, you wanted to work out some of those. A lot of times, uh, you know, for example, when you have bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 that, that, those are kind of in, in important melodic lines. A lot of times I'm still saying bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. Does that make sense? That's actually how you just start right from the beginning. right here, don't, don't even do that, just come in there. So, um, I would maybe consider not playing them as, um, what are those green lines in here? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I would maybe consider not playing them too legato either. Bum, 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 bum. Here you can again a little tap of pedal, but right because this this rhythm, uh, rhythm came um, this rhythm basically starts the the movement in the orchestra, bum, 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 bum. and so it's the eighth notes. Both those eighth notes are important. That rhythm, okay. Um, 
Let's make it like so again. are hearing a lot of times that second eighth note is not quite as clear. I'm hearing bum bum ba dum bum instead of bum bum ba ba bum. Yeah. Yeah. So that might be overdoing a bit, but it's on the again. It's, it's I'm, I'm hearing that rhythm. Okay. So so um. I mean, let's just start from there together. So. Um, yeah, just right on it. Ready? So one, two, and. Yeah, don't slow down. Yeah, one more time. to do and some of you don't do it as well. And so I'm hearing bum, 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 bum. You're thinking too much in three. Right? It's bum, 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 bum. They're all accents. Uh, just right on square. Yeah. Ready? So one, two, and. <laughs> It's not so much of each, each individual note that needs to be clean. 
especially here, right? Because if you listen to the recording with the orchestra, it, it, it sounds like, again, it's a, a glissando going between you and the orchestra. So it's not about every single note of the scale. It's about that, that, that gesture. Can you do just that? Yeah, and you should feel like you're doing the glissando. Drop your hand on the first note and then something like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, and then when you get to here, I would propose you maybe perhaps do just a tiny bit faster. It would be a little more exciting and a little bit drier bop, 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 because that's you're playing what the orchestra is playing at the beginning of the movement. Um, try that a little bit. Going from da 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 soft and then you bring out those accents again that's that sort of what makes things sound less smooth does that make sense instead of just you're trying to play everything more musically and that that's great I'm not again I'm not proposing anyone ever play on musically right but but again when you want something that's more highlighted um, the sharper contrast will come out a little bit more uh, do it just for yourself right on that so, so. Keep it soft right so, so. this middle section here. This is where things can get a little bit more grotesque, a little bit more sarcastic. humor to it when you don't shape them too much. Um, I'm going to show you on the piano one more time. So, when everything's just very still and then a little ping that comes out every now and then, okay? Um, when you have this that comes in, then that, that's a huge contrast, right? A, a, a contrast within the, the B section. Um, can you just drop from there? Very expressivo. Uh, Going up, going on very well. Right before the peak, you stop the momentum. 
Right, so this is this, um, where did we just stop? Yeah, right, so you go ba da da da, and then you stop and bum, and you say da 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 dum. Right, because musically that's where it's going. And I realized it, because I made the same mistake thing myself every time, every now and then when I record myself, I said, oh wait, that's not how it's supposed to go. Right, so um, start from maybe 121. just a little bit earlier and more gradual. Okay, so don't go from 40 miles to a stop. Um, and then, I like the sound that you have there. That was, that was really great. Um, when you have this, again, this is a longer line. It kind of all comes down to, that's sort of the peak of the B section. Um, so, so again, think about longer lines and, and just the melodic thing instead of all these little, uh, can you start from there? Okay. So, so yes, you want to slow down, but then you sort of stop. You slow down and stop. gradual crescendo to crescendo. I think a lot of times we all make the habit of not pacing well enough and then realize we have to do it and we do something so sudden. And that's where um, the, the musical idea is, is jeopardized because of that. Right? So, so like this, for example, I see that there's Mark in saying that you need to slow down, which you did, right? But it's, it's, it's how, it's, a lot of times it's not about whether or not you guys do the, the crescendo or decrescendo or, or the slowing down or not, it's how you do it. Um, and gradual is generally the, 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 the key. Unless you're, you're not doing it for a particular, uh, special, after a particular special effect. Um, and then you're back to this. Let's keep going from there. That's fine, but once you start, you can't. You have to be very precise because you know you, you have all these little parts that you, um, you're not playing it, but you do have to worry about. Uh, can you start on one thirty nine?
quote unquote legato in any of those because it's just it's not going to come through, especially with the orchestra behind you. With a second piano, you're already having uh, it's very hard to, to hear it. So all of these ba -ba 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 all those thirds, play them more on the staccato side and make sure the top note is coming through. Um, these um, really easy to rush. Just make sure that you, you follow, just because your part is a little bit easier. You don't want to just run off on that. Um, and so all, all of these, right, all, all of these, again, back to that rhythm, bop, 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 all the eighth notes, so just need to come out a little bit more, um, um, that would bring the character out a bit uh, better. Um, any questions? Yeah. So you're playing this with the orchestra, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm playing this. What's that? I haven't played this. But you will be? Oh, yeah, I will be, yeah. Okay, so um, I, I remember I had a teacher who actually once told me that um, she was actually here last time or two summers ago. Um, there are certain places where you just can't fight with the orchestra, so it just looks like you're playing loud. And don't worry about how loud you're actually playing because in this case no one can hear you. Do as much as you can, but don't don't let that take over. Like don't let that be the priority. Um, but but we can um, we, we can talk about sort of how to move your arms. That might help a little bit. Uh, because I know they do have to struggle. Okay? All right, thank you very much. And thank you. <laughs>